Well, good morning and happy Friday, Scouters Mountain students, families, all of you tuning in from around the Happy Valley area, and who knows, from around the country. I know we have relatives watching these. Welcome to a Friday morning edition of the Morning Messages. It is Friday, November 20th, and the last school day, at least the last day that you'll have some in-person lessons for an entire week. Remember, next week is conferences. Then we have a holiday to celebrate, so I won't see you again. I'm going to record some morning messages on Monday, then not again until the following Monday. So you'll have lots of time without tuning in, without having to worry about school. And then we'll start in again a, the following Monday, which I believe is November 30th. Let's see, tomorrow, 21st, 22nd, 20th. yeah, November 30th would be Monday. So welcome into the morning messages. What do we need to know today on this Friday? Well, Lots going on this month, as you know. We've been checking them off as we go along here. Report cards will come out today. Now, how do you get your report card? It's not like the old days where you had to wait for the mail to come and get it in the mailbox. We'll put your report card electronically. Your family can get it electronically on an app called Parent View that everyone has or should have. And if your parents don't have that, have them call the office. They can get your report card after noon today. So after 12 o'clock, they can, they can look at your report card. So hopefully those are looking good. Hopefully you're not too nervous about your first quarter report card. Remember, we get four of them this year, not three. Last year we got three. This year it is four. So this is the first of four report cards you'll get this year. Conferences start next week, Monday and Tuesday of next week. Hopefully your family has signed up for a conference time. If they haven't, make sure to check their email. Mr. Long has sent out plenty of reminders about conferences so I hope to see you. Remember, families, you log into your child's Google Classroom, just like they do every morning. That's where you'll find your teacher and have a great conversation for about 15 minutes or so to catch you up on everything that's been going on this year so far with your child. So hopefully you remember those. It is still Native American Heritage Month, as we've been celebrating all month. We've covered that on the morning messages a few times. We've looked at culture and heritage and, I should say, customs that families have at our school and different traditions that they celebrate. Some of you may be experiencing another tradition coming up this upcoming week. So hopefully you have fun with that and get to spend time with families and follow all the social distancing rules that are in place as well. Check out, I want to show you this, how awesome our families are with the day of giving. So yesterday was the final supply pickup for the week. And that's where you could drop off your day of giving supplies. We did pretty darn awesome on this. Check this out. I, see, I took some pictures. These are from the cafeteria. So there's some food boxes that were put together. We had 87 food boxes put together. So that can go to 87 different families in our community who could really use the extra help. Congratulations to our community. What a super job. That makes me so proud of all of you. There's the cookie kits. We had 120 cookie kits go out. So 120 families can enjoy a batch of cookies. Look at all those. We've got chocolate chip ones. Uh, oatmeal, it says over there in the corner. So lots of different kinds. And then this picture is the kindness kits getting stacked up. Too many to count right now. I know we're over a hundred of the kindness kits that will get shipped off to the places they need to go to. And if you look very closely at that picture, you can see in the window the reflection of someone taking that picture of those kindness kits. Very, someone very, very proud of our community. What a super job. I'm so proud of all of you for getting all of those things in. Uh, Mr. Long was driving a U-Haul truck this morning. There it is. We loaded it up and drove them all over to what's called the Wichita Center. That's a place where families can go in our area to pick up those kind of items if they're in need of food or other items. So we drove them over there and hauled them out of there. So we loaded them all up this morning and unloaded them at the Wichita Center. Mr. Long got to drive a big truck. I like driving a big truck like that. And I managed to do it without running into anything or going over any curbs or anything like that. So that was very successful. So great job on the day of giving. I'm so proud of all of you. Thanks for doing such a great job. Coming up in December, we're gonna do something similar. We'll have the canned food drive and we'll have bins set up outside so you can drive by any time. You won't have to wait till your supply pickup day. You can come by any time during the school day and drop your cans off into bins out in front of the school. And then we'll move those bins back inside at the end of the day each day. So look for information about that. I'll send that out after the holidays. Uh, during December, we'll do our canned food drive. And we'll probably fill up another U-Haul. Great job, everybody. Other things you need to know today, as I mentioned before, you can open report cards this afternoon. Afternoon, 
is when they're going to be available on that Parent View app. So look for your report card there. This year, you're gonna get three grades on your report cards. This is for the subjects, so like reading or math, those kind of subjects, writing, you get either three grades. NE, that means there's no evidence. That means you didn't turn things in. That's kind of a problem on that one. If you didn't turn in your work, you're going to get an NE. NA, that means not assessed. That means we didn't cover that particular subject, so you don't have to worry about that. NAs means not your fault, not the teacher's fault. We just didn't cover it. And P means you're progressing. You're making strides. You're moving right along toward the end of your grade level standards, so you're doing a good job. So those are the three grades to look for on the subject areas. NE is the one you want to stay away from. That means you didn't turn some things in. We don't have enough evidence to give you a grade. NA means we didn't cover it, and P means you're progressing. Now, you will still get numbered grades. You'll notice on, my, on your report card, one, two, three, or four. Those are for the different subject areas that are more like readiness for school. So those are your character traits, how responsible you are and uh, showing kindness toward others, ability to share. Those will be numbered grades, and those will all be explained, and they'll be explained on an email that comes out from Mr. Long here very shortly. Your families will get that, but report cards available afternoon today if you're watching this on Friday. So they're coming out afternoon on Friday, November 20th. Questions you can always email Mr. Long. You know how to get a hold of me by now. Always love hearing from you, and I hope I hear from you during this upcoming week. It'll be weird not seeing you for the entire week, on screen so make sure you email me there's the email address right there you know how to get a hold of me by now all right who has been celebrating a birthday this week let's check it out elsie was way back on monday lincoln on wednesday along with miley happy birthday to all three of them who celebrated a birthday so far yesterday was geo's birthday from third grade happy birthday and today We've got two birthdays at Scouters Mountain. Timmy Chan and Mia Fernandez, third and second grade. Happy birthday to both of you. Hopefully all of you got something special in the mailbox from me sometime this week and we're able to celebrate your birthday. I know it's a kind of a bummer having your birthday during these times where you can't have a lot of people over, uh, can't get too close to people, but we still wanna make sure you have a very, very happy birthday. So happy birthday to all six of those students who celebrated a birthday this week on Monday, I will do morning messages on Monday so we make sure that we acknowledge people celebrating a birthday next week, but then no morning messages on Wednesday or Friday because we'll be off school. All right, so remember my last daily challenge to you. Monday, way back on Monday, four days ago, oh, it was National Fast Food Day. Now that's a favorite day for me. I know for a lot of you and a lot of our families, not a favorite day. Mr. Long knows it's not healthy to be eating fast food, but I still, I like to indulge once in a while. Do you send Mr. Long a photo or a video of you enjoying your favorite fast food? Now, I understand if some of you couldn't do this because you don't eat fast food, and that's great. You shouldn't probably eat fast food. Not real healthy for you. But we did have lots of people submit their entries. Check it out what we got. Here is Kate Jansen. I love it. She made her own slide. You're going to get dizzy on that one. Let's see that again, Kate. How'd you do that? So my favorite fast food is Panda Express. Spin around. Oh, my goodness. I got to see that one more time. Panda Express, there's Kate over there spinning around. It makes her dizzy. She likes Panda Express so much. Great job, Kate. And then we have, oh, we have Nikhil, who made his own logo for Baja Fresh. Did a nice job with that if you made that yourself. This is the only fast food I eat. I don't eat meat. Yeah, you can get lots of great tortillas, cheese. Looks like a quesadilla with some rice, some chips. That's a great spot. I love Baja Fresh, one of my favorites. Great job. I like how you put their tries to replicate logo. I think that looks just like the logo. You built that yourself, Nikhil? Excellent job. Let's look at some of the other pictures. There's Colton from first grade enjoying some Jack in the Box. Looks like he already ate his burger and now is eating, looks like some onion rings or some curly fries, enjoying those at home. Jack in the Box, a fine choice, Colton, I got to say. Look at that, Lucas enjoying, uh, hopefully that's not just his meal. That looks like the family's meal that he's hoarding right there. But Kentucky Fried Chicken, he's got the bucket of chicken. He's got the biscuits right next to him, diving in. How come I wasn't invited over that night, Lucas? I love KFC. Great job on that. I love the picture. There's Camden Christopher from kindergarten enjoying his Mod Pizza. He's holding up that Mod sticker. kind of looks like it's part of his T-shirt, but Mod Pizza. And remember, we had Mod Night on Tuesday night. I know lots of you were there. Haven't got word yet on how much money we earned for our school, but I know, I hear... It was crowded the entire time. So there's Camden enjoying his mod pizza. There is Olivia Botter, 
Fodderin with her brother Elliot enjoying their mod pizza at home. Thanks for supporting the school. Ooh, it looks like someone had a birthday there in the background as well. It says happy birthday. So there's Olivia and Elliot enjoying their pizza. Look who else showed up at Mod Pizza Night. It's Mrs. Bell. She got pizza for herself and for her husband, maybe for her children who are all grown up, but maybe they were coming over for dinner as well. So thanks, Mrs. Bell, for supporting our school. Great to see everyone supporting our school with Mod Pizza Night. I'll get a total to you. I'm not sure how we made it. I know Mod was donating 20% of the proceeds to our school. We'll see how we did on that. I know it was crowded the whole time. There's Mrs. Bell enjoying her. So what is the new challenge for this upcoming week? Now, remember, I won't see you a lot for this upcoming week. We'll only be on Monday, so you've got plenty of time to do this. Tomorrow, Saturday, is National Gingerbread Cookie Day. Yeah, you may not have known that. Gingerbread Cookie Day. The Gingerbread Man. Do you have a favorite cookie? Well, I know I do. I'm sure lots of you do too. Send Mr. Long a photo or a video of you either making or enjoying your favorite type of cookie. Even if you don't have your favorite type at home, use whatever cookies you might have around the house. Now, I have a favorite type of cookie for sure, and you'll see that on the picture. I might kind of get a milk mustache when I eat these, but I want to see your favorite cookie, you enjoying it, maybe making it, love a video of you biting into it, or a video of you cooking your favorite cookies around the house, and you have all next week to do that. Maybe you're making some cookies as part of the holiday, and you'll be able to make those for dessert. Send me a photo or a video of those. Here's mine right here. There I am with a little milk mustache. I love Oreo cookies. I've got one in each of my fingers right there. Yum. Love to eat Oreos. I had kind of a short haircut back then. Great job uh, getting your cookie picture, to me, or your videos, which would be even better. And nothing better than a little glass of milk with your cookies as well. There's the email address to send those pictures or videos to me. Long see at nclack.k12.or. Dot us. You know how to get a hold of me that way. Name that Scouters Mountain Elementary staff member. This one, I think, was a little tougher. We didn't get as many people that got this one correct. Does not have her own classroom. Her favorite fast food is Noodles and Company. That's a good spot down at the mall. Favorite hobbies include walking, reading, and shopping. Her favorite snacks are peanut M&Ms. I know that because sometimes we have some in the office in a little candy bowl. And this person takes them all the time, as she should. She enjoys those. Here's your big hint. She has the largest room in the whole school. Yep, it's the biggest room you can possibly get in the whole school. Well, except for maybe the gym, but this isn't the gym. If you can't find her, you might have to page her. Hmm, the word page, does that give it away? Which of our staff members works the most with pages and with books? Who could that possibly be? Well, I'm not going to tell you right now because we had a couple of people who are getting so good at making their own slides. I'll let them reveal it to you. Check this out. There's Kate Jansen. She came up with Miss Smith, and then it faded away. Let's see that again, Kate. Boing. She thinks it's Miss Smith. Nikhil, as well, says the mystery staff member is dun, 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 Miss Smith. I agree. I believe it is Mrs. Smith. You're right. It was Miss Smith. There she is, right there. Look at her painting at home. She's got a little painting going, dancing along. Oh, we miss Miss Smith. She's not working in the building because. We don't have library. We miss you too, Miss Smith. So great to see all see you and hope to see you again very soon. Great job by our students who figured that one out. That is from Kate and from the Keel, who both sent in their own slides. If you know how to make Google Slides, that's a good way to send in your answers. I can put them right into this presentation. That's what Kate and the Keel have gotten very good at doing. So they put their guesses in there. Great job by the two of them. Hopefully we'll see Miss Smith again very soon. Who's going to be the mystery staff member for the upcoming week? Now, you have a while to figure this one out. And this one's a little tricky, too, because I'm going to tell you right away, like Miss Smith, this person is a teacher or a staff member at our school, but not working at our school this year. So you probably won't see anything posted by this person online on our website or in your Google Classroom because she's taking the year off, but she'll be back next year. Does not have her own classroom this year. She does normally, not this year. Favorite fast food is Chipotle. Favorite hobbies include reading, camping, and coaching. Hmm, and I know she enjoys coaching her daughter. Her favorite snacks are fruit and chocolate. I wonder if she has chocolate-covered fruit. Probably does. And here's your big hint. Not teaching this year, but keeps us healthy. Hmm, healthy. Which teacher 
keeps us healthy. And she was a star softball player when she was young. Did you know that? Can you figure that one out? So this is a person not with us this year. You won't see her on Google Classrooms, but you did last year if you were part of our school. You went to her room once a week to learn about health stuff. And she was a star softball player when she was young. And I think that's what she coaches her daughter in as well. She coaches softball. Who is that mystery staff member? Well, of course, I'm not going to tell you right now. You need to send that to me at long C at NCLAC k 12orus You guys are getting so good at that. Can't wait to hear what you come up with for that one. I think lots of you are going to figure that one out. If you are new to our school, ask around. You might be able to figure that one out or look on our website, which some of you have done. Look for the teacher that teaches that particular subject listed on our website. And I bet you can figure it out there as well. All right. So what's your new challenge going to be for this upcoming week? Well, I already told you that. Let's see now, that's about your favorite cookie. Now, I always like to get some catch up videos if we get some people that send in some photos or some videos to us that need to be displayed. Here's one there, I thought I would show this. This is the Nicolopolis boys, or as mom said, the Nicolopoli, which is like the plural of those two. So there's Lucas there on the left and Nico on the right. And they're putting together their kindness kits, which we got off to the Wichita Center today so great job by all of them look at them sorting it together they've got some chapsticks they're unwrapping they got some water bottles looks like they got some wipes over there some socks behind nico great job by the nicolopolis family and by all of you who contributed kindness kits or cookie kits or food boxes or cards you did such a wonderful job i'm so proud of our community and all of our students and there's bradley remember i've asked you when you win a scouters mountain dew award please send in a picture of you displaying that so we can put that on our morning messages there's bradley there he earned one from mrs webke very well deserved we always like to hear from bradley so great job he sent in his picture at home showing off his mountain dew award for extra kindness great job bradley so there's a couple of catch-up photos that i want to make sure and get up all right, time to wrap up today's show as we always do with the joke of the day. And what's it going to be on this Friday? Bryn Walter from fourth grade sends this one in. This is a great one too. All right, Bryn. What is Bryn asking? What goes ha 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 bonk? Ow. What does go ha 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 bonk? Ow. Ow. I hit my head for real on that one. What does go ha 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 bonk? Oh, it would be a man laughing his head off. Well, that's what I almost did. I didn't knock my head off though, but I did. I think I'm getting a little bump on the back of my head. Great job, Bryn. If you have a joke of the day, make sure you email it or send a video of you telling it to me. I always love seeing the videos and seeing your pictures as well. And you can always email those jokes. Where do you email them to? Right there. You know the address by now. You can get that in right there. I hope to hear from you next week. I know lots of you will be traveling are busy, probably not thinking a lot about school, but don't forget about your principal. You can send me emails, send me photos, send me videos. Always like receiving them. Have a great day today on this Friday, November 20th. Remember, report cards today. Afternoon, you can get those. And then no school next week. You don't need to log in on any of those days, except for Monday morning, because that's when I'll have the morning messages for you. Make sure you log into those on Monday morning, but no live lessons next week. Monday and Tuesday are conferences. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday is when we'll be celebrating the holiday. So I will see all of you back here on Monday the 23rd for the morning messages, and then not for live lessons until Monday the 30th. So that's 10 days from now. Enjoy your time off the computer, except for Monday morning. Enjoy your time off the computer next week. Have a wonderful holiday with family and loved ones. And thanks again for all the great work you did for the Day of Giving. I'm so proud of all of you and so proud to be your principal. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here for the morning messages only on Monday morning.